you know how much I love you? Do you? Do you? I hate to be the one to spoil playtime, but I got a phone call from Dr. Sloan. He said he can squeeze Ian in today, if, if you want to go. Absolutely. All right, okay, and Spikey, Mr. Spikey, um, Rachel is getting a bath ready for you. Yes, she is, come on. Oh, okay, you know yourself. What? You're gonna cartoons, they're gonna be later, okay? But Kendall Slater's attorney had very little to say as he left a procedural hearing this morning. Mm -hmm. Is it true Mrs. Slater blamed Adam Chandler for the near death of her son? Well, Erica came to be testifying at this Folks, time. I'm sorry to disappoint, but I have no comment at this time. Excuse me. Okay, Spikey, uh, you know what? Go, let, let's go have a bath. Rachel's getting ready for you. Yeah, let's go see Rachel. Okay. All right. District Attorney Henry North was more forthcoming with our reporter when he caught up with him at a benefit last night. T.A. North, are you confident in the case you're bringing against Kendall Slater? Absolutely. Uh, we're quite secure in the forensic evidence we procured, and well, just as important, we have motive, means, and opportunity. And has her high-profile status in Pine Valley had any impact on the case at all? I was elected by the citizens of this city to prosecute criminals to the fullest extent of the law. Now, in the past, some of our more well-known residents have eluded justice because of unequal and lenient treatment by my predecessors. That stops now. Just because you're Erica Kane's daughter doesn't give you the free pass to murder. Now, Kendall Hart Slater will pay for the crime she's committed. And has the fact that her ex-husband recently remarried her to evade testifying hurt your case at all? Childish legal tricks won't keep me from bringing her to justice. And uh, Zach Slater will still play an important part in her prosecution, whether he's... Uh, Marry to her or not. Hubbard. I'm not liking what I'm reading in your latest report. Well, it seemed pretty detailed to me. I mean, we've been back to the crime scene quite a few times now, uncovered new evidence. They are wasting time with castings of David Hayward's footprints. We're supposed to be building a case against Kendall Slater. Oh, I thought we were trying to uncover truth. We've indicted Kendall. That's where I need you to focus your energy now. Now, meet me back in my office in 15 minutes. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. I'm at the hospital. I need to see my son. I'll call your office later when I'm done. Get your priorities straight, Hubbard. You're the one who made the arrest in the first place. This case falls apart. I'll make it well known it was due to sloppy police work. <laughs> the district attorney refused to take the death penalty option off the table in the state's case against Kendall Slater, saying that although Stuart Chandler was not the intended victim, the crime was premeditated and ruthless. Hi, I came by to get you to well, sign some, some papers, and I was hoping you weren't watching television. What's going on here? He's just out to railroad Kendall? Yes, he is. It doesn't matter what the evidence is. He's using me. The, 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 the fame, the press, it's, it's his ticket to a higher office. You think so? It's going to blow up in his face, believe me. No judge likes a grandstanding DA. Yeah, I don't like it either. Got to make sure he knows that. That'd be a mistake, Zach. That's just what he wants you to do, come after him in a public place with news cameras all around. And with this guy, there's news cameras around 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Don't help him make Kendall look more guilty by blowing your cool and going after him. Jack's right. We need to be really, really careful with this. Okay, uh, we're on the way to a doctor's appointment, so do you need me to sign something? Yeah, right here if you want. Zach, please, don't play into this guy's hand. I'm starting to wonder if you're a team player here. What are you talking about? We have an indictment, and you're out there wasting time on other suspects. My job is to uncover all possible evidence, leave no stone unturned with no personal agenda. Your job is to stay focused on getting what I need to convict the guilty party. If I don't run down every possible lead, the defense will use that against you in a courtroom. Oh, stay out of the courtroom battle planning, Hubbard. Let me worry about what the defense may or may not do. Fair enough. Then you stay out of my investigation. Dig harder. 
Mm. Uncover more evidence against Kendall Slater. We don't have enough now by half. That's all you should be concerned with. What an adorable baby. That's a shame he'll be growing up without a mother. Wait a minute. Ease up. You think a judge would look kindly on you harassing me like this? No, this isn't personal, Miss Slater. I'm just doing my job. And don't you ever lose that fire in your eyes. It'll play great on the six uh -huh. o'clock news. So are your loss at my trial. Oh, don't worry about that. I'm not. And don't worry about your son either. I'm sure Zach will take well, great care of. If he survives the investigation, I'm launching into that casino. Hey, why don't you step back for my wife a little bit? Or what? You have one of your boys kneecap me? My boys? I wouldn't need anyone to take care of a lightweight weasel like you. Is that a threat? Wait a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. What's up? Come here, guys. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Come here. Let's go. It's absolutely right for you to want to bitch slap this guy right now, but that's exactly what he's going for. So don't give it to him, all right? Things may not be as desperate as you think. So you're saying he doesn't have a slam dunk? No, Ask Jackson, he's got all the discovery. What did you want you? It'd be unprofessional of me to discuss that with you. Mm. Come on. Michael Crawford, 340. Michael Crawford, please call 340. Blue team, I see you, please. Blue team, I see you. What was that about? I just told him I would throw them both in jail if they continued with these threats. God, the hate in his eyes. That wasn't hate, Kendall. That was ambition. What Jesse hinted at should be making me feel better, but it's not. I can't get that man's face out of my head. We can remedy that. We'll take care of ourselves. The man seems to have a successful marriage. Wife from a blue-blooded family who moves in all the right circles. The right charities. That's exactly what a rising politician should be doing. Well, it doesn't sound like we'll find much on him, then. Gotta dig deeper. All people have their weaknesses. Inside all of us, there's... There's something that can take us from all-powerful to vulnerable in the blink of an eye. Well, I will go and find his weakness. But first, I'll put Spike to bed. 